Chris Kunkel and we're here in San Inez, California. We're working with Sench Niche Propeller. It's been a long time coming. We've been talking about this project for about four months and here we are. This is a really exciting project that we've wanted to do for a long time. Piper holds a very dear spot to Sensenik. All the original Super Cubs came out with Sensenik metal props. Sensenik to me is an iconic aviation brand. When I started polishing on my dad's Super Cub, that now is mine, it had the Sensenik brand on the prop. So today, we're going to take off an 82 inch diameter stole prop that weighs about 34 pounds. And we're going to put on a Sensenik 82 inch composite prop that weighs approximately 20 pounds. It's about a 41% reduction in weight. So the coolest thing about this whole thing is these gauge pins that they come with the prop. They slide in the front of the hub, they're different diameters, and just in a matter of seconds, they set your propeller to a certain pitch. You tighten it down and you're rock and roll. Here we go, we're taxiing out. First rip on the new prop. Staying as traffic, Super Cub 82505, the part of 26, staying in the pattern. All right, coming up on throttle now. This prop is really, really bites. Like 2350. Yeah. Which is, static. That's perfect. So you picked up a little bit. Oh, yeah, about 15 miles an hour. Oh, that's quite a bit. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And honestly, it's, it's smooth. It's so smooth. It's crazy. So, uh, Fetch Nitch really, really did a good job with this problem. Something we worked really hard at Sensenet the last five years is to try and combine the best performance both at low speed and high speed with our composite props. And I really think on this one, we've done it. Wow, this is impressive. I'm so fortunate to get to work with the Sentinic team. It's been a, such a pleasure. This product behind me is it's one and none. I can't wait to, to take the Super Cub in the backcountry and put it to the test. Mm -hmm.